it's Ashley Kaltwasser here again today and I'm going to show you a couple of different ways you can use your jump rope and how you can incorporate it into your workout. Now I'm sure everybody's had some sort of experience with a jump rope whether it been on the playground, playing double dutch, uh, used it to get in shape, but today we're going to bring it outdoors and we're going to show you different things you can do with it. I'm here with Ashley and we're going to show you some fun jump roping tricks. But first, did you know there's a proper way to know what the correct size of jump rope is to use? How you do that is you find your jump rope, you stand inside of it, okay? And you put it up and it should reach about up underneath your armpits. Well, as you notice, this one is only coming to Ashley's rib cage. So this one would be too short and not the right size. So let's try this one. She's gonna step on it. And again, it's a little bit above her armpits, but that's okay. This one is gonna be a better size. Our other jump rope alternative we had was like way up here and that's for someone like six foot five. So Ashley is going to use this and you probably didn't know this, but Ashley is a jump rope champion as well, has her high school record. I know oh, yeah. I tried <laughs> mine in middle school, wasn't successful, but again, another record holder here. So first Ashley is gonna just step over and she's just gonna start with basic jump roping whatever style feels comfortable okay so there's two feet off her toes this is actually a great way to finish off a calf workout too but how you can make this your workout is right now she's got a nice pace this could be a warm-up pace but let's say we try to take it a little quicker and that she tries to go for 20 seconds Tabata style so let's say she goes 20 seconds all out and then she rests for say 10 seconds we're gonna change it up here now she's alternating legs. Very nice there. So you got to alternate your legs. Notice she's just moving from the wrist too. When you jump rope, you don't need to use your entire arms. So again, she could do this motion for 20 seconds and then she could rest for 10 seconds and repeat and make it part of a Tabata workout. Okay. Or she could try to count for reps and complete say hundred reps. All right. Now she's going to show us here a little fancier quickness with double jump rope. Let's see if she can make two revolutions. There we go. Oh my goodness. She's getting a little knees up there. Good job. So that one's a little trickier, a little more fun. Might be hard to keep that one. Okay. And then our crisscross. We're going to give that one a try. There you go. So you're making the mind and the body work on that. Woo. <laughs> That's right. Hair sometimes gets in the way and gets caught. So you got to make sure you have proper proper hair ties up there <laughs> so it doesn't take it off there. So, so those are a few different variations of jumping rope and a lot of times people though say, you know what, I can't, I can't jump rope, it just doesn't work for me. So for my clients or students, I pull out this step bench and I might have them just do a tap, okay, in place of it. And so they can start off at a nice easy pace or eventually go as quick as they can. That's a little bit more low impact works well for some moms. A lot of people tell you that post-pregnancy jump roping doesn't work. So again, you could use the bench and just do some nice quick feet. Tapping as fast as you can, getting your heart rate up. Try it Tabata style, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Or like I said, go for repetitions. Maybe try to do as hundred as fast as you can. So there's some fun jump roping exercises and tips. So take it outdoors. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. You can find more of Ashley K's Keep It Fresh video tips and tricks on www.fitnessrxforwomen.com.